Hello friends, in this video we will go to discuss about Telegance theorem in network theory. Uh, in this video I would like to tell you what is the statement for Telegance theorem and one example problem on Telegance theorem. Okay, now let's see the statement of Telegance theorem. It states that in any arbitrary lumped network, the algebraic sum of the powers in all branches at any instant is, is zero. Which means, if we have a circuit, arbitrary lump network, suppose we have an arbitrary lump network, the sum of all powers in any element, okay, the sum of all powers of an element in a circuit is equal to zero. That is stated by the intelligence theorem, okay. Or, in other way, we can say, the algebraic power derived by the source is equal to the algebraic power observed by the elements. It is similar to the KVL. KVL is also nothing but uh, the voltage rises equal to the voltage drops. Here also the power delivered is equal to the power observed. Simply remember, Telegance theorem is nothing but the power delivered by the source is equal to the power observed by the elements. Uh, remember this thing power is all, uh, all observed power is always delivered by the source and observed by the elements okay elements are nothing but the resistors in a network okay here uh, suppose we need to find the power at any element or any source we have formulas power 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 at source, power at source equal to voltage into current. Suppose if you want to find the power at particular voltage source, then the formula is voltage into current. And the power at resistance, suppose we, if we have a resistor, now we want to find the power at the particular resistor, then this is the formula I square into R. Okay, this is about Telegance theorem. Telegance theorem is nothing but the power delivered by the source equal to the power observed by the elements okay now let's see one example problem on telegance theorem okay now let's see one example problem on telegance theorem problem verify telegance theorem in the network here we have a network now we need to verify the te telegance theorem on this network telegance theorem is nothing but power delivered by the source equal to the power observed by the source we know power delivered at the source power formula is equal to v into i and power observed at the elements power formula is equal to v is equal to i square into r okay these are the formulas for power now we need to set uh, we need to verify the power delivered by the source equal to power observed by the elements okay let observe this circuit. Here we have two sources, two voltage sources V1 and V2. And three resistors, two ohms resistor, two ohms resistor, two ohms resistor. Consider current flowing through the first loop is I1 and current flowing through the second loop is I2. Okay. Now we need to find the uh, power delivered by this source and by this source and add these two. Uh, powers we get total power delivered by the sources in the network and again we need to find the power observed by this element and this element and this element then finally add the power of all these three elements then we get the power observed by the elements if the power delivered by the source equal to the power observed by the elements then the intelligence theorem is satisfied okay first in order to find the power we need current flowing through the elements in order to find the i1 i2 simply apply the kvl in loop 1 and loop 2 first apply kvl in loop 1 okay apply kvl in loop 1 we know according to kvl voltage raises equal to voltage drops voltage raises at voltage source 20 volts equal to voltage drops at the resistances okay 
voltage drop at that particular resistance is 2 into I1 and voltage drop in this resistor is 2 into I1 minus I2 okay 2 into I1 minus I2 and here we we have 2I1 plus 2I1 4I1 minus 2I2 this is the consider this is the equation number 1 and next apply KVL in the second loop here voltage raises equal to 10 volts 10 volts equal to voltage drops is at two this 2 ohms resistor and this 2 ohms resistor that is 2i1 plus 2i2 minus i1 sorry 2i2 plus 2i2 minus i1 okay here we have 2i2 plus 2i2 that is 4i2 minus 2i1 consider this is the equation number 2 uh, here we have two equations then we can uh, solve these two equations we can get i1 and i2 next step is solve the equation 1 and 2 for get for getting the unknown currents i1 and i2 okay here we get these two currents i1 and i2 okay after getting these currents we can simply find the power delivered by the source and power absorbed by the elements first uh, let's calculate power delivered by the source power delivered by the source nothing but here how many sources we have we have only two sources that means the power is delivered at two places one is the one is at this voltage source and another one is at this voltage source we know power delivered at the voltage source is nothing but the p is equal to v into i first consider this voltage source that is power delivered by this voltage source is v1 into i1 v1 into i1 plus power delivered in this voltage source is i2 into v2 i2 into v2 okay here v1 is nothing but 20 volts and i1 is nothing but 8.33 8.33 v1 into i1 and v2 into i2 v2 is nothing but 10 volts and i2 is 6.66 6.66 after calculating this we get power delivered by the source is 233.2 watts okay now we have to find the power consumed by the elements here we have three elements 2 ohms resistor 2 ohms resistor 2 ohms resistor power consumed by the elements can be calculated by using this formula i square into r i square into that resistance okay here first consider this resistor current flowing through this resistor is i1 that is i1 square into 2 i1 square into 2 next consider this resistance the current flowing through this resistance is i1 minus i2 that is i1 minus i2 whole square into 2 here 2 into i1 minus i2 whole square plus power consumed by this element is 2 into i2 square 2 into i2 square now substitute the i1 i2 values in this equation and we get finally we get pc equal to 233.2 watts now observe ps equal to pc here ps is nothing but power delivered by the source pc is nothing but power deliver power absorbed by the elements these two are e equal then we can say intelligence theorem is verified okay intelligence theorem states that simply power delivered by the source is equal to the power absorbed by the elements here we can prove we proved power delivered equal to the power absorbed hence intelligence theorem is verified thank you thank you for watching this video